Living on a boat full time for just a short period of time so far has taught us many things, but one in particular is how much we take power for granted. Before we leave on the Great Loop, our number one priority is upgrading the electrical system on board by installing solar panels and lithium batteries. This is not a necessity for those that will mostly be hopping from marina to marina, but we plan to anchor and utilize free docks and walls more often than not. In this video, we mount our four 200 watt solar panels, which will keep our 600 amp hours of lithium batteries charged. The catch? We have to mount them while living on a mooring ball. Let's do this. Before we get any further, let me show you the plan. The first step was determining where we wanted to mount the panels, and we had a couple options to work with. Number one, mount them over top of the flybridge, which would ultimately create built-in shade, extending the existing bimini top. Although this option would keep the panels over top of the boat at all times, we didn't love this option because as the boat currently is, we can remove the bimini top and clear low bridges. Number two, mount the panels parallel to the existing stainless steel bars on the flybridge. This was less of an option than number one because of two reasons. One, the panels are already 58.7 inches long, so we would have to utilize both the port and starboard sides of the boat. Two, when we get into locks, this would pose a major problem. Even if we mounted them so that they fold down, you still risk scraping the panels in the lock. Finally, number three, mount the panels off the back of the boat. This option was probably the most tricky when it comes to the actual mounting, but overall we thought it the best option for these reasons. One, it doesn't take up any valuable space on board. Two, there's no risk of scraping on the sides of the boat. Three, it creates more shade while sitting on the back of the boat. Four, we can keep all four panels together rather than wiring from two different sides of the boat. Five, we can hinge the panels down if we need to do any work on them. The next step was to purchase the mounting materials and secure the panels in two pairs. Evan is working today, so Ripley and I came up to Fort Pierce. She's not sure what's going on. And we are at Marine Connection Liquidators. Guys, this place is a boat mecca. It is used boat items, surplus items. And our goal today is to get two eight or nine foot of the stainless steel like piping. Um, for our solar. This is the last thing we need to mount it. And then we still need to do like the batteries and the charger and inverter and Evan knows all that. Um, but I'm gonna take a gander and see if there's anything else I can find that we potentially need. So let's go inside. I'm so pumped right now. So what we did uh, yesterday or two days ago was we bought two six foot stainless steel one inch piping i don't know the correct terminology um so it was 12 feet total and they were basically like a hundred dollars each for six feet so a hundred dollars for six feet so it was 200 is what we had they ended up being too short so we had to return them anyways and thank god we did because here at marine connection liquidators we got 17 foot total two eight and a half foot uh long pipes 84 dollars total over half off so this was worth the trip up here. Ripley and I are gonna take the scenic route home and we gotta call Evan and let him know the good news. <laughs> Hello. How's it going, dude? Yeah, we're mid project nice. right now. I love so it. this is what I had vision, mounting them straight off the bag. I bought these poles and these fittings. Each fitting is a buy separate, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My original thought was to... My original thought was to screw into here. That's pretty sturdy. And like, make it like something like that to support them out the back. Okay. But Carly and I kind of just decided, I don't think we're gonna get enough support like that. Yeah, you'd have to run. So I'm thinking what we're gonna do is probably mount here and run up. Yeah. It'd be a lot stronger. Oh shit, yeah. I've It'd already really screwed good. into this. You don't mind screwing into this? No, I've yeah. already had to do that for the grill mount. We'll put them in the middle, basically. So that's why yeah, I grabbed yeah, yeah. two out. I think I'm gonna connect them two and two. Two and two, okay, yeah. So make because they don't- To manage. Look at these mounting holes. My original plan was, because I can go back to Home Depot and buy another one of these sticks. 
was to screw into here. Yeah. That way they're two attached. Yep. We can do it on that side too. If we mount them two and two, and we have one support stick per two, you know, you'd have to put them somewhere like this. The hardest part is figuring out how we're gonna connect. This is just all fiberglass. I was oh, gonna. So the back right here is all fiberglass. I was gonna mount off of this. Oh, off of this. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's do it. Wind up over here. Come on, come on. Like a glove. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab a wrench. Okay, that's gonna be solid. That's not. That's not. Good. Spares and these things. Oh, jeez. <laughs> After a few windy days, we finally had a calm afternoon to get the panels mounted. You'll see very quickly that we could not have done this without our friends Josh and Haley on SV Slacker. Yeah, I think it's got to be cut to eight. All right, hold your ears. Yeah, where's our ear protection safety specialist? <laughs> <laughs> Once the tubes were cut to length, Haley and I took position down below to catch and hold the tubing while Josh and Evan mounted the brackets up above. Yeah, I guess I'll probably stand over here too because then we can hold it, yeah, together. That's right. Got it. Yep. Okay. okay. Oh, that's, that's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's a little you guys awkward. are going out pretty far. It's a little awkward. You guys got it? We're good. <laughs> Holy shit. Here we go. One down. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna look so sexy with these panels. Yeah, with no power, <laughs> no batteries. Oh, can you take it off? We can. Oh, maybe we should. Yeah, we'll that might be a good idea. Ready? No, we're gonna take the grill off really quick because I think holding it, it's like we're in an awkward spot. Nice. Oh, that's gonna be Ugh. okay. I'm oh, it's gonna... dripping everywhere. <laughs> that's that's definitely grease or something. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> Okay. You guys good? Just still go slow. Wait, wait. I'm gonna hit the You good? Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Not. Okay. No dilly dallying this time. Are you? Something came off. Something, Something just came fell. Off. There, right, you got it. Yeah. Right here. This thing? Yeah, we don't need that. That was spare when I was building. Huh, interesting. You guys, it's heavy, guys. I don't know why it feels different this time. I think. We need to bring it back? No. No, we got it. Just hurry up. I think I need to get. All right. Yeah, I'm going to grab it just so it doesn't flip this way. Just push down here or hold it. Yeah, right there. Ripley, you just get out of the way, girl. <laughs> you got the one. Shit. I'm cramping a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think if you just got one U bolt on, and then Josh, if you came down here. Move these out of the way. Well, it's because we didn't have the. But like, okay, is you holding that? Did that help you at all, Carly? Yeah. yeah. Having Josh hold it? Yeah, it did. Oh, I'm just so much weaker. Just for the next? Yeah, I was gonna Let's get them all ready, oh, but. Oh, dude, I headbutted it back on the boat. Let's get them all ready. Yeah, I was gonna.
Where is it? <laughs> I hope it's right there, next to uh, um, go further, further, further. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's gonna be on camera. What? <laughs> you had done that? I hit oh, me in the head. Right as I was like, I was going like this. And then if I could somehow connect those two, I think it'd be pretty strong. That's enough, right? Though. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to hear what. All right, up there. What the? F <laughs> that's gonna blow off on the first storm. <laughs> Got it? Yep. <laughs> We're all like, how many people does it take? <laughs> if you just clamp those together, I'd love to be able to clamp those together just like that. Yeah. No. That's pretty good on a morning ball, though. Yeah. You got it. I, I, <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm impressed. So it's coming out and then coming back, right? Yeah. Yes. Um. Should we get like a piece of wood that sits there so you're not like putting it into yeah. the yes. glass? Okay. Okay, if I'm lowering it, is it pivoting or no? That's a good end. How am I looking in the back? You're, yeah, you can go lower with it. No way. Is it pivoting that easily? Perfect, that Yo, seems, that's like design. That yeah, seems just like too that. Good. Yeah. That seems too good to be true. <laughs> yeah, this is easy. What are we doing? <laughs> Ain't nothing to it but to do it, he says, right? Yep. Yeah. Babe, I got it. Oh. It can come back a little. Freaking. Well, it can come back more? That's money. All right, let's get the hardware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been over a week since we mounted the panels and we're so happy with how they're holding. Make sure to subscribe and come back for part two where we'll wire the panels to our lithium batteries. Before we end the video, we want to say a huge thank you to our first ever patrons. After launching our Patreon last week, you guys jumped in and we so appreciate the support. A special shout out to our very first Captain's Circle patrons, Bruce and Robin. You are all helping us make this adventure possible. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Love you, bye.